folks. Another oh. Double Down Toy Review. Tim. Tyler. And we're looking at Star Wars Black Series, Han Solo, and also Grandma Tarkin. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in Solo, but he's part of the series, and he's an awesome figure. So Hey, he would have been alive during the Solo era. For all we knew, he was flying by in a passerby. Yeah, yeah. it's very possible. He's somewhere, like, here, while the camera's shooting Han. Yep. That's his, that's his yeah. hit. He saw his boots. Yeah, and this guy just goes by. So... Uh, I guess let's just start with Chewbacca. This is a Target exclusive, right? Target exclusive Chewbacca from the Solo movie. And he's got uh, the new bandolier, the goggles. He's got, what is and that? It's like, it's like a laser shotgun. Yeah, it's like a laser shotgun, which is weird because the one I got does not... lasers just do the same amount of damage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the one I got doesn't have the slide. should have the slide on the shotgun piece. Some of them shipped without it, and some of them have it. Mine does not have it. Maybe it's a variant. It's probably worth a million dollars. Probably. I'm holding them. I shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my money. Um, he's very. He's similar to the other Chewbacca releases, I guess. Same articulation. Head's a little stiff because of the hair on the neck. Uh, the goggles can come off. They're just on a little elastic strap. Uh, it's kind of a cool look. Kind of just to differentiate it's, him. It's a, well, it's a different Chewbacca look. From the, mm, that's, that's from cool. the other ones on the shelf. <clears throat> Double bandolier with this little back purse. And this is kind of like, there's like a spot in the fur that this is um, kind of sculpted into. I don't think Chewbacca would appreciate you calling it a back purse. How do you know? Maybe he He'd probably it. rip your He arm. might call it a purse. He doesn't. He'd probably rip his your back right pouch, off. His space pouch. <laughs> his space pouch. His fanny pack. <laughs> uh, his Wookiee pack. Yeah. That's what it's called. His Wookiee pack. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, slight... Color difference, you know what? You know, I actually. I'm gonna grab the other Chewbacca's. We can do it first. I actually like the color scheme that they went on this one. How it goes from the darker tones to the lighter tones to the darker tones again. Um, is it Solo era Chewbacca, New Hope Chewbacca? Uh, it actually looks like they, well, they definitely recycled like the legs. Eh, but the torso seems like it's different, and the head sculpts are definitely different. The bandolier is different. His space pouch is different. Definitely. Uh, shotgun is different. different. Yeah. No goggles. He's actually a little taller in New Hope. He get, he he ate his veggies. He still grows. He's like yeah. 190 years old. 190. He's still growing. He looks great. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. We can look at some articulation. I guess he's a little stiff in the articulation department. Uh, arms go forward and up like this. Some of the fur kind of restricts movement. Uh, his elbow bends, wrist spin. Uh, he's kind of got sculpted fur coming off his hands, so some of the poses are kind of weird because like the fur is like sticking up when it should be down. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's being blown in the in the wind. Um, he's like got a fart in the wind. Mid, mid torso <laughs> cut, so he can spin, go forward and back. Uh, this hair, <laughs> the fur down here is kind of soft rubber, so it can kind of bend actually. I don't know if this one has that. Is this one <clears throat> maybe slightly? This one's not as bendy as that. Maybe one. they're allowing him to sit down because they're planning on making a Black Series Millennium Falcon full size. Yeah, that just it'll be, be part of Haslab. Seven thousand dollars. It's just like the size of this basement. Just you know, give me, the, give me who, the cockpit. That's good enough. Yeah, who owned the ship before Han? Lando Calrissian. And everything you've heard about him. It's true. The smoothest cat in the planet. <laughs> in the planet? <laughs> the <laughs> the smoothest galaxy. cat in the galaxy. <laughs> in the planet. <laughs> well, on the planet he was on. Yeah, he's the smoothest guy ever. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think this is a really cool looking figure. Um, Donald Glover. Donald. As Lando. Amazing. M. F. and Glover. He was perfect. He I was, loved it. He was perfect. I loved every second of, uh, of watching him be Lando. Uh, but this figure looks great. Looks just like him. Uh, came with his little cape. He's got his sexy little Lando silk yellow shirt. Uh, he's got his holster, his little pistol. He's got his scarf. And he's even got his poet mustache. Uh, paint job on this, well, along with the new head face scan thing. Yeah. Woo! Face scan stuff like uh, they're doing on the new Marvel Legends also. Hasbro. <sighs> Keep it up. This is what we're talking about here. This is rivaling figure arts. This is also 
Lando's favorite cape. Also, this is the one negative on this figure, this cape. It looks awesome. It looks great on the figure. But it restricts but it hinders his movement. movement yep. And it's just a, like a, a hard plastic. Whoa. But I understand because if it was soft goods, it would look cheesy. So there's there's got to be like there's, this. There's no weight. Happy to it. medium ground we can find. Uh, so we can have a cape that doesn't look ridiculous, but also doesn't restrict movement. Maybe someone will figure Just it out. Just make a bunch of different molds of capes that allow many type of movement. There you go. It comes with four capes for different poses. You solved the case! <laughs> um, I, I've heard... This is... Yes. Oh my god. The, the, the little silencer barrel piece comes off of his laser gun. I hadn't actually done that before. That was the first time you guys witnessed it. I could have broke it. Uh, he's got his scarf, which is like a soft rubber, which is nice. Is that stuck around his neck? or? I, oh yeah, it's like his head so. sculpt is... It's probably like out of the Lego. I think I just lied to everyone on camera. <laughs> this just comes off. <laughs> I'm discovering all sorts of new stuff with this figure. I thought it was totally like the, how the Lego capes work, but it was like... Clips I, on I, his I, head. Well, I just figured he had like a peg and it just went around it just to hold it in a secure place and then it just... <laughs> the, comes right off. The and fact I that... just lied to the whole thing. This just comes off like that and can just pop right back on and the silencer comes off. This figure just got like ten times <laughs> cool. Yeah. Just shut the camera off. I'm going to play with this. <laughs> He also has a little holster on the side here, so his gun can go in there. Boop! Uh, articulation is standard Black Series articulation again. Arms, elbows, head, neck, wrist. Uh, he has a, a, looks like a mid-torso cut, but it doesn't move. Oh, it does. It's probably just with his paint. <laughs> yeah, his little paint dry. <laughs> Remove <it. laughs> <laughs> <Dark ball. laughs> uh, Yeah, so... That moves there. A little bit of forward and back, more for turning. Um, is he wearing like cowboy boots? No waist. Oh, some, some kind of, you're throwing go. Some kind of boot. His uh, belt is glued to the leg and to his hip, but it's like an extra piece. So it's like an extra rubber piece. It's not sculpted on. Um, thigh swivel, but the belt on this side kind of holds the thigh in place, so that's not going to do anything. Double jointed knee. And feet go back and forth, and rocker on there so you can go sideways, get some poses out of that. Just have him kick back sitting at a table playing some sabak. Just like that. Just like that. Then just imagine he's in a chair. Better, get, a that, table better get that scarf on him. Yeah. He's playing some sabak. Like, whoa, whoa, what have we here? Han Solo walks in. And then, and then Han Solo kicked a stool out. <laughs> <laughs> Now we got Han Solo, as played by Alden Ehrenreich in the new movie. Is that how you say his last name? I hope so. If I'm wrong, I thought his name was like Emmerich or something, but it's totally not Emmerich. I think Emmerich. it's Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich. Um, it's a, this is a cool figure. The awesome new head sculpt. Um, that new technology, which is just sick. Um, otherwise, body-wise, it's just pretty standard Han Solo. You know, his pants with the stripe, his leg holster, and just a jacket. That Carillion style, I just can't get enough of. Um, his little DL-44 blaster, which also fits into his holster, which is a separate piece, but glued on. Um, and the leg belt is actually sculpted on this figure. I know on the other Han Solo, um, it was not, so you could take the belt off, but this one's sculpted and glued in, um, which hinders the, the leg a little bit on this one. Um... Articulation, just like Lando, shoulders, neck, wrists. Um, he has a mid torso in there, so you can get some twisting poses. I get some Han, Han that Han poses. pose. Uh, legs forward and back, in and out, thigh <clears throat> swivel, no, double knee for when he's really woo, when he's really got to run to the cockpit. <laughs> really running. Um, and then on his boot, there's just the ankle forward and back and left and right. Little ankle rocker there. Have they, has Hasbro announced what other figures we're going to be getting from Solo? I think we're getting an L3. I saw L3, Val, and Tobias Beckett. And then there was a mystery figure, which, having seen the movie, I think I know who that's going to be. <laughs> Won't say any spoilers, though. What if it's just Paul Bettany? I don't, I don't know why that'd be a mystery. It'd be a cool figure, though. I was kidding. With his red stripes on his face. Yeah, that'd be cool. Next figure is Kira, played by Amelia Clark. 
in the solo movie. Um, this is in the beginning of the movie, I believe, is what this mm -hmm. outfit is, like her Carillion outfit. Um, just a jacket, it's kind of soft rubber here, it doesn't come off. Uh, awesome head sculpt with that new tech. This actually, yeah, it doesn't jacket and hair doesn't restrict anything, so she's it's got full range of movement up here. Um, she she came with her pistol, and the pistol actually like opens and closes the little like chamber up there. Oh, that's neat. Just a little extra detail. Uh, paint job is fine on the entire figure. It's kind of some cool like weathering dust. I don't know if that's supposed to be like mud or snow or something on there, but it's on her boots and like the edges of her skirt. Um, articulation wise, uh, same as the others. Shoulders, elbows, single elbow on the lady's wrist, waist. There's no mid torso cut here, just the waist, but it's kind of a high dress, so it's kind of like between the two. Mm -hmm. It's a belly uh, button cut. Yeah, the, the dress is like a soft good with a cut. Uh, not a soft good, it's a soft plastic uh, rubber with cuts on the sides so you can still kind of get like poses out of this and it's not restricting her legs. You can sit her down still or like have her in action poses, whatever you need. Um, double joint to the knee. It's got a thigh swivel in there. And ankle forward and back. And, and an ankle rocker. So yeah, you, get, you get all sorts of articulation out of this lady here. go. Kira. Kira, folks. <clears throat> she does look really good. Yeah, they're not kidding around. Little double barrel pistol. That's and, sweet. And then from New Hope, and I guess Rogue One as well, <laughs> if you count CG Tarkin, <laughs> um, Grand Moff himself, Tarkin, played by Peter Cushing, uh, and his little interrogation droid. Um, what? What are you laughing at? <laughs> just gonna I think the interrogation droid's a joke. <laughs> I was just gonna say he's got a problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, another awesome Black Series figure. Uh, this is probably a reuse body of like Admiral Thrawn, and it's probably and Thrawn or Krennix. Yeah, upper. They're they're pretty close in their torso. Imperial outfits, which is fine because everybody wears the same thing anyway. You just get a different insignia up here with their little ranking colors that look like chiclets. But again, this figure stands on its own because of the new the new tech. Face tech. The face tech. Where they got Peter Cushing's likeness. The guy's been dead for like fifty years and he's right here. <laughs> uh yeah, he looks awesome. Uh no accessories except for the droid, which is just like a little ball, doesn't do anything. And then I went on this little plastic peg so it looks like it's flying and you can kind of spin it on here, lean it forward and back. Whatever. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin has the same articulation, shoulders, neck, elbows, wrists. Uh, does he have waist articulation? He do. He has waist articulation. He's ready to go and legs, dancing with John Travolta. Double jointed knees and his boots. Does he have a boot cut? Is this move here? Or just the ankle? Nope. There's okay. just, just the ankle. Double jointed knee. knees and the ankle yep. joints. Uh, how's the his little skirt? His imperial skirt. Um, I mean, yeah. it's got the cut up okay. the sides. Uh, it's it's not really a soft plastic. It's definitely a harder mold. But when did you see Grim Turgan running around? He didn't. He stood and looked out a window. So that's what he's gonna do as a toy until he realizes that he's gonna get blown up. In his house. He never realizes it. He did too. He stands there like an idiot and his hubris and gets blown away. He knew. He didn't know. He was, he was just like, he was so confident that they were going to win, and the whole thing blew up in his face. <laughs> <laughs> he had no idea. He thought he was going to have dinner that night and everything. He had plans. You think he was wearing his slippers still? Yes. If the camera was shooting from here up on Peter Cushing, he had slippers on, because he didn't like the boots. Space fact. What a true Brit. Uh, pull these guys over here, we'll do a quick measurement to everybody. Young Chewbacca, get in here. Also, if you guys saw Solo, what'd you think? I saw it. It was great. Yeah, I liked it. it seems to be I enjoyed it. Mixed I thought, I thought it was stuff. It, it's fun. A little space western. It was exactly. It was a space western. It was. It's a good old time. Chewbacca's was good action. Chewbacca's just over seven inches. Kira is five. Like five and a half. 
Tarkin is about six even, Lando is just under six inches, and Han is about six inches even. What do you measure the probe droid? He's about four inches tall. <laughs> floating. Four inches floating. So, yeah. Black Series. Check them out. Uh, there's also a four loam out right now. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, with their, like, <laughs> the Han Series reimbursement packs that are coming out. When is uh, the next series? Restock. So we already talked about the Tobias Beckett, the L3. Yeah, and Val and all that. That whole um, series. When is the other series coming out that's supposed to have, like, Dengar and... I think there's a Bespin Han, there's like a uh, Hoth Leia. Who's the other one we saw? The, who's the purple dress girl? Admiral, oh, Ho Admiral Holdo Hold from Last Jedi. She's coming up from Was it day. Admiral or Commander? Or? Admiral Holdo. Is it? Don't you question that rank, it's Admiral. <laughs> uh, yeah. You see what so, I have to work with. <laughs> Black Series figures, awesome. Um, these new head sculpts are amazing. If you see, we're gonna do a comparison shot of the like old Black Series stuff yeah, from a couple old, years ago. Old Han to now. and Chewbacca. And it's amazing what you're getting for the 19.99 price point now. I mean, the original Lando figure doesn't look anything like Donald Glover. Yeah. Well, that's everything. <laughs> Looks like some other guy. Uh, yeah. So buy him if you see him. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, do anything you want. Go see Solo and love every second of it. Okay, see you, bye! And see Deadpool and Infinity War and probably Ant-Man and Wasp. Just do it. It's a lot of good movies out. Just go check them out.